Hello everyone. So in this session of ultrasonics, we are basically going to discuss some applications of ultrasonic waves and we will be starting with the most basic application and most known application of ultrasonic waves that is sonar. So sonar basically stands for sound navigation and ranging and uh, uh, as its uh, uh, name suggests, right, it is used for navigating and ranging, means to find the distance between two objects. So it is mostly used to find the depth of the sea, right, you can also find any uh, broken ship or uh, you can also find a group of fishes using sonar, right, you can know the distance or the depth between the objects that are placed under the sea, right. So sonar uses ultrasonic waves and determine the distance between two objects, right? So it is based on the principle of eco sounding. Eco sounding means the reflected sound wave. Okay. So here what happens? Uh, first of all, there are two transmitters. As you can see, there is a transducer A, right, which is a transmitter, and there is a transducer B, which is a detector or we can say receiver. Right? So what happens when ultrasonic waves are passed through the transducer A which is acting as a transmitter, ultrasonic waves will go as a high directional beam right? as we have already discussed that it is a high directional beam which can travel long distances. So it goes ultrasonic waves goes until uh, your desired object is there. Right, since uh, suppose we want to find the depth of the sea, so when the transmitter transmits the ultrasonic waves, it will go to the depth and it will get the get uh, reflected back from there. Right, so when it is reflected back, it is received by the transducer B, right, which detects the ultrasonic wave, or we can say receive the ultrasonic wave, right. So as you can see in this diagram, a ship is shown and uh, there are two transducers. One is used for transmitting the ultrasonic wave and another one is using uh, to receive the ultrasonic waves, right? So when the ultrasonic wave or ultrasonic wave is reflected from the uh, depth of the sea, it is received by the receiver and uh, very simply we can know the distance uh, of the or the depth of the sea using the equation of velocity. We know that velocity is nothing but uh, distance traveled uh, in certain time. Okay, So it is the ratio of uh, distance traveled uh, to time taken. Right. So let us suppose that the time taken by the ultrasonic wave right to travel through this distance to the depth of the sea is t okay so as you can see in this diagram let us say the distance traveled from the by the ultrasonic wave is a to c and c to b right so now what happens if we talk about this long such long distances right so we can take uh, ac as cb okay we can ignore the we can neg uh, neglect the variation which is very very small when we are talking about such long distances so if we consider ac is equal to cb is equal to co we'll get co plus co which will give 2 cu okay so co is the depth of the c in our case if we make subject uh, d in this formula we'll get d is equal to vt by 2 so in this way the depth of c can be calculated from the velocity of ultrasonic wave which is already known when you transmit the ultrasonic wave and time t is the time taken by the ultrasonic wave to trans tra travel this distance right through this we can find the depth of the c so this is sonar sound navigation and ranging which is based on the principle of eco sounding right so when there is an object present under the sea 
the ultrasonic waves will get reflected and detected by the transducer beam in the absence of any object the ultrasonic waves do not get reflected right so knowing the velocity of ultrasonic wave and the time taken uh, by ultrasonic wave to travel this distance you can find you can determine the velocity of ultrasonic you can determine the depth of the sea okay you can determine the depth of the sea right so this is how uh, sonar works right now let us see another application industrial application the first one is ultrasonic drilling and cutting and the second one is ultrasonic welding which is also known as cold welding so first of all let us discuss drilling and cutting now in drilling technique a tool driven by an uh, ultrasonic generator is used and abrasive materials like silicon carbide or boron carbide is used now first of all what is abrasive materials now this abrasive materials are the materials which are used to sharp or finish the material right when they are rub uh, uh, over the material okay so it also leads to some of the sample some part of the sample being thrown away so, so abrasive materials are basically used to sharp sharp or finish uh, for finishing the material okay so here an ultrasonic generator makes the tool bit to move up and down over the sample very quickly and forces the abrasives uh, against the material to be cut thereby removing some material from the plate so this uh, moving up and down moving the tool bit up and down right making the tool bit to move up and down very quickly right makes the hole over the sample and uh, this process is continued until the desired depth of hole is uh, uh, obtained okay so this is how drilling and cutting is done okay cutting is done in the similar way right so this are the this is the ultrasonic drilling and cutting now we talk about ultrasonic welding it is generally known as cold welding so ultrasonic welding is basically the process of producing a metallurgical bond between materials right so it without melting that is why it is known as cold welding in normal welding in normal conventional welding what happens welding is done by uh, in which heat is being generated and the materials are being heated thoroughly right so in some material what happens when the materials are heated it loses some properties so this type of welding in which cold welding is done right the characteristics of the material do not change as the temperature remains same only the part of the only the surface of the material uh, will be melted or uh, only the part of the sample very small part of the sample will be there in which temperature changes there right but the rest of the material uh, remains as it is right so this is known as ultrasonic welding which is basically the basically the process of producing metallurgical bond uh, between materials without melting so that is why it is known as ultrasonic cold welding okay so uh, as you can see in this uh, diagram so right let us understand the equipment first so first of all heavy mass is used to provide clamping force right which is connected to reed and transducer is there that produces the ultrasonic waves right which is used for vibration and uh, uh, the reed is connected with a sonotrod tip right then uh, two work pieces are shown in this diagram uh right on which welding is to be done and uh, anvil is used to support uh, the materials as well as it is also used to uh, balance the force right it is uh, used to balance the force against the clamping force right so this is the um, basic equipment of cold welding right so first of all what happens is static clamping force is applied parallel to the work pieces and at the same time the sonotrod tip oscillates parallel to the interface of the work pieces due to this uh, the breaking and dispersion of the surface film take place which produces metal to metal contact at any point okay 
So the first step in gold winding is to clean the work pieces. So they are clean uh, properly and the surface of this work pieces are cleaned and put together. Okay. So to produce the metallurgical bond between these two, uh, high uh, frequency of ultrasonic waves are being used. Okay. A strong clamping force is uh, being impressed on this work pieces as well as the oscillating vibration is also there. Right. The vibration of sonotrip is also sonotrip is also there. Right. And anvil supposes. Uh, and the anvil supports the work pieces as well as opposes this clamping force. So at the same time, two forces are uh, uh, being uh, taking place. First is the parallel force, right? The parallel force is being produced by the vibrating uh, tip. And uh, another perpendicular force, right, is produced by the clamping force, right, which is, uh, which is due to the pressure that is being applied on the work pieces right so these two forces are acting on the same time at the same place so this uh, two forces produces internal stress on the material due to which the surface uh, surface film get uh, breaks and dispersed right so static clamping force is applied parallel to the uh, work pieces at the same time uh, so there was a typographical error. Static clamping force is applied perpendicular to the work pieces and at the same time sonotrot tip oscillates parallel to the work pieces. So this parallel and perpendicular forces that are acting on the same time produces the uh, internal stress in the material and when the elastic limit is crossed, right? Uh, due to this, the breaking and dispersal of the surface film take place and uh, which produces metal to metal contact at any point. So in this way, only the surface of the metal is being heated up, uh, rest of the material remains cooled. So that is why it is known as cold welding. Okay, so now let us understand some medical application of ultrasonics. Right. There are basically two uh, types of uh, applications of ultrasonic or we can say all the applications uh, of ultrasonic that are being used in medical field are characterized into two uh, applications. First one being the diagnostic application and second one being the therapeutic application. So first of all, let us say diagnostic application. So basically diagnostic applications uh, involves a diagnosis of uh, different organs of a body, right? Or we can say there is a, it is a, basically an ultrasound based imaging technique used for visualizing internal body structures including muscles, joints, vessels and internal organs for possible pathology. So what happens in diagnostic application? It is normally used where the um, visualization uh, is needed of internal body structure or uh, organs of the body, right? For example, sonography. Okay, sonography is the most widely used uh, diagnostic application of ultrasonic wave. Okay, so um, joints, vessels, internal organs are. Uh, visualized using imaging technique of sonography right it is also used to most widely used for pregnant ladies right to know to visualize the fetus and uh, to observe or to scan the growth of the baby right of a pregnant woman right so this is the basic diagnostic application okay sonography is also mostly used for uh, kidney related problems right if you want to uh, uh, we know that there is a major problem uh, major kidney problems uh, involves sonography so all the kidney related problems can be uh, detected using sonography right right you must be aware of uh, stones right so kidney stones can be detected using sonography so diagnostic application is most widely used in sonography then there is a therapeutic application. So here low and high frequency power applications are used. Okay, the high frequency and low frequencies both are being used in therapeutic applications. Therapeutic applications means application of ultrasonic waves that involves therapy. 
ओके सो वट हैपन वेन अल्ट्रासाउंडिंग वेव्स आर पास इन टू द टिश्यू ऑफ द बॉडी दे एजिटेट द टिश्यू टू द रिक्वायर्ड लेवल इन सर्च अ वे दैट थर्मल एनर्जी इज बींग प्रोड्यूस इन द टिश्यू सो दिस टाइप ऑफ एप्लीकेशन एज इन फॉर्म टू बी यूजफुल इन नंबर ऑफ एप मसल अलाइनमेंट ट्रीटमेंट्स विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज पेन रिलीवल सो थेरापेटिक एप्लीकेशन ऑफ अल्ट्रासाउंडिंग बेसिकली इज अ पेन रिलीवल ट्रीटमेंट right it is a therapy okay so when ultrasonic waves uh, are being passed through our body right or through the tissues of the body they agitate the thermal agitate the tissue to the required level right with then and then only alignment of muscles is possible okay until uh, right alignment of muscles is not generally possible right in normal conditions you need to thermally agitate the tissues which is being done by ultrasonic wave okay so this is the uh, this is the applications of ultrasonic waves in the medical field thank you